Neo is going to hit $200 per share in the next three to five years. This is what I believe and this is what this video is all about. Neo currently has a market cap of $56 billion. If it rises to $200 per share, that market cap will rise to $270 billion. To put this into perspective, Tesla has a market cap of $400 billion currently, which would mean that Neo would just be just over half the size of Tesla currently. Please put all your comments down below in this video. I'm eager to answer all of them and I'm answering every single comment that you guys post on this video. Now, without further ado, let me take you on the journey to how Neo is going to get from $41 per share currently to $200 per share. Neo operates both Neo houses and Neo spaces. These are unique places where both current and prospective customers can go and enjoy themselves. They can socialize, they can have coffees, they can use the libraries, there's even conference rooms, and there's even a place where their kids can have daycare is a very unique setup and what it is done it is built out and reinforcing that brand image that neo is creating now currently there's about 100 of these neo spaces and neo places as per the last report and neo is aiming to expand this to 200 by the end of the year and this will really help boost both sales and awareness of neo currently neo is at the forefront of battery swapping and this is a very efficient and quick way that current NEO drivers can swap out their battery within three minutes. Now, NEO is actually going to produce their second generation battery swapping stations, which are going to be faster and more efficient and easier to use than they currently are. There are about 155 current NEO battery swapping stations and NEO have announced that they are looking to build out 300 second generation battery swapping stations by 2021. So this is huge. NEO are really revolutionizing the battery swapping game and they're going to do it by their second generation battery swapping stations in 2021. Next up, we've got NEO's battery pack. Recently, NEO actually released their 100 kilowatt hour battery pack which has enabled their current models to drive a lot longer on just one single charge and the market is loving it. Neo have actually announced that they're going to release their 150 kilowatt hour battery and this is going to be insane because their current ES6 model is going to be able to double its distance on one single charge which is currently 430 kilometers. By doing so, Neo is actually going to match current combustion engines and hybrid cars so it's really a key player in the electric vehicle market and it's really pushing boundaries neo haven't announced when exactly this is going to come to market but looking at the speed that the 100 kilowatt hour battery came to market i believe this is going to be a 2021 innovation next up on neo's journey to 200 dollars per share is its european expansion plans now, NEO have indicated strong interest into expanding into Europe by 2021. And this is huge because it's going to open up a much larger sales channel because currently NEO only sell to Chinese customers. NEO have actually made grounds to breaking into Europe and they have set up a team based in Copenhagen, Denmark. And there's going to be a NEO house set up there, which is going to allow them to have a sales channel directly to consumers. Now, Neo have indicated interest in selling 7,000 of their ES6 and ES8 models in the next two years. So this is gonna be huge. Next up, we're talking about Neo's manufacturing capabilities. Currently, Neo have an agreement with Jack Motors based in China who facilitate the manufacturing of their vehicles. Neo is actually reaching its capacity limits with Jack, Jack Motors. At the moment, it's producing 5,000 units per month, and the capacity at Jack Motors is 5,000 units per month. Now, there is the ability to create factory extensions and work double shifts, which is going to enable a greater capacity using Jack Motors as the third party to manufacture its vehicles. 
Neo have indicated that they would like a capacity of 300,000 units equating to a monthly 25,000 units capacity via Jack Motors. And this is going to enable them to facilitate the surging demand that they have for their vehicles. So this is very exciting stuff. Neo have the ability to service a much larger demand than they currently have. So this is going to help boost their sales and drive that share price up to that $200 mark. This next one isn't a product, service or innovation, but it should help drive up that share price given the exciting releases that NEO are going to announce on their NEO day. So the NEO day is going to be held on the 9th of January 2021 and existing and prospective customers and industry experts and leaders are going to be invited to NEO day where NEO is going to announce a whole host of interesting, innovative and new product launches and services associated with their business. So this should help see a nice little jump in that share price on the 9th of January 2021 where NEO Day is going to be held. So it should be exciting. So now looking past 2021, NEO have announced that they're going to be releasing their new electric sedan called the ET7. Now this is a beautiful, sleek looking car. And this is going to target a whole different audience to their current SUVs on the market. And this should really help boost sales for Neo. Now, the ET7 sedan is going to be available rumored with level 4 autonomous driving technology. So this should be a very sophisticated launch. And it should be well received by the market and I'm very excited for the ET7 sedan to be released because this is going to really help boost those sales and that share price is just going to be creeping up towards that $200 mark. Moving on now, Neo have expressed very high interest in self-driving capabilities of their cars and over the last few years they've been partnering with Mobileye, a company which is able to facilitate that and partner with Neo to bring that to life. Now, right now, Neo and Mobileye are actually conducting trials in Israel and they're making good grounds there. So it is rumored that the self-driving technology should be available for in 2022 for Neo cars. And this is very exciting. This is a real boost in the innovative abilities of Neo, enabling them to match the big beast that is Tesla and will drive that share price up towards that $200 mark. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you have liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. Please do leave a comment. I'm answering every single comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel and let's make that money. Till next time, it's been a pleasure.